Okay, as promised, we're going to do a little bit of the veiling, and as I described with veiling, because it gives you the, the individual layer points that we're sort of missing in a lot of heads of hair, we're going to be able to share that in both live and not so live version, right? So remember, low elevation is length, moderate elevation is length and softness, high elevation is softness. So you're coming in low, entry point, exit point, open, close, 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 open, close. So now what I'm doing is I'm landing in our individual layer points. So these are gonna be some of the longer ones here that we're gonna add in towards the back. Then what I get to do is some moderate ones. Now, making sure that we're not picking too big of a section. Obviously, if I grab a big chunk, you're going to be left with a big chunk, right? So as we start to get that layering into the hair, you can see how it starts to, to break it up. But unlike a traditional layer, what happens with a traditional layer with long hair? On your hair, let's say we layered it. What's going to happen to all of this? It'll look like stairs. It'll either look like stairs, which everybody... So occasionally you have somebody that comes in and says, I want three layers in my hair. Remember this morning? I want three layers. One, two, three, not. Well, this allows us to actually add layers if we want in the hair. But you're never going to end up with a line. You're never going to end up with, with any just as a seamless blend, right? So here's an option also where you can see from the visual. We back comb this just to show some effects there before. But noticing this line here is pretty heavy, right? So what if we could erase some of this line? Would that be helpful? Mm -hmm. Okay, so what we're going to do is I'm going to elevate this up. Now we're doing really small pieces at this point. So I'm looking underneath. Is there dark underneath? There is. If there's no dark underneath, this does not work. So as long as there's dark underneath. Now you have to be careful. If I put too much weight on this, what happens? Is it gone? Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to open close here. So open close, 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 open close. So what we're going to do is we're going to start to just erase a little bit of this line in the hair. Now, definitely we can come in and start to repair some of this with some of our color techniques, but. What it allows me to do is just break this up a little bit. Just, in those two little bit. Yeah. just to get a little bit of this out of there, right? Open, close, 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 open, close. Wow. That's crazy. So it helps. Like, again, we didn't do the color. Like, this is, again, a guest that comes in with the color already there, but how can I soften it out? How can I improve what we're visually seeing in the hair? So it's, it's those fine details that makes the difference. It's not about necessarily taking off you know, this much hair. That doesn't mean anything. It's about being able to get those little details and how you change the hair. It's almost like if you're, if you're cooking something, it's like the little bit of a difference of a spice or, or vanilla or something that you might be making, right? You might have a favorite flavor, right? You can add too much, you can add not enough. Same thing happens with the hair. You're looking at it, and that's why when we're working through the hair, what are the three versions that we see of the hair? One is what you see, the other is what you feel. touch or feel, and the third is what you touch and see, or feel and see at the same time. So it's important as you work this through, you don't just grab the hair and layer it and then look at it and say, oh yeah, well great, it worked or it didn't work. This is sort of, a, as you do it, you're improving it, you're just making those little fine details. So when you have colors or things like that, that maybe aren't working as well. Now, just for instance, sake, is there layers in the hair? Not really. Do you, are you thinking of layers in your hair? Yeah. Just yeah. <laughs> okay, then we, we'll add some real quick. Okay. I'm not doing the veiling in the hair. I'm not gonna do the veil because I wouldn't necessarily do both. If I did both, it's gonna be too much happening in the hair, right. right? So let's just do some of the channels in here, or the, the veil, sorry. So I'll go open, close, and close, and close, and close, and close, and close. Open, close, and close, and close, and close, and close, and close, and close. Now the beauty of doing this is that you'll notice you'll look and go like, wow, we're removing a bunch of hair. 
but the bottom remains nice and thick always. Like you're never gonna lose any of that thickness on the bottom, but yet you're gonna open this up a little bit more. Now we're dealing with raw hair. Raw hair is hair that has not been prepped, it's not been waved, it hasn't been flat ironed, it hasn't, it's just not, this is raw hair the way it lives, right? So you're definitely gonna see a little bit of a difference when we're dealing with prepped hair versus raw hair. right now. And remember, as we're cutting, what are our options? A little bit of the tinsel. What are our <laughs> options we have? That's right, what's those shiny things? It's tinsel. Is, as we're doing this, remember, we can either shout our way through, talk our way through, or whisper our way through. So it depends on how, so often we'll do a little bit, maybe more of a shouting, talking as we get to the sides and we whisper it. So here we go. Now the beauty with this technique also is you can actually stop if you needed to and you said, I want to preserve the ends, you just stop. And you don't do anything to the ends. So this will completely change the Cancel hair. Your, your appointment. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And, and like literally, there is no other way to add layers to this length of hair. Other than having a mistake. Uh, you, and you can see how in a traditional sense, you would end up having potential problems if you try to do traditional layer. Thank you so much, Siobhan. I look forward to it again. I will send you uh, a message. Okay, we'll message. Sounds good. Thank you. There we go. Oh, look at she, said, she wants some now. She's wanting some of these. Well, you've got 15 that can do it. <laughs> Okay, let's, okay, here's the deal. Here's the deal. So, so tomorrow, each of you can do <laughs> one, one layer and sponsor. See you guys all tomorrow. See you. Okay, I want you to get your hair hands through there. I love that that confidence is on a live video that she has in all of us. <laughs> now, there's quite a bit of hair down there, right? But not really. Like when you look at this, it look at it. feels there. Like totally feels sick. Yeah. That, because guess what? We didn't layer it like you would normally expect to see a layer in the hair. And there's absolutely no way with long hair you can. And I see it again and again and again that it's done. And you can try everything that you want at the end of the day, it will not work. It's not possible because number one, with long hair, you have to cut it dry. If you cut it wet, like we showed you with the Kleenex, where a wet Kleenex and dry Kleenex, it's not the same. The weight isn't the same. The volume, the space that it takes up isn't the same. And so this is, you're seeing it when it's live, you see how it works. And then when you're doing it dry, every layer point becomes obvious to you. If you were doing this wet, you'd have to wait to dry it all to see what you did and hope for the best. Whereas this way, you can see that it, you've got everything that you need in it. And then from there, it works well. Now, do you find that you need any lift, any volume in it? Like, does it not hold yeah. anything? Yeah, it never holds. Really. Okay, so I'll do a small amount and then we'll, we'll share, okay, I'm, I'm sharing in advance for you. You get to see it. Uh, so what we're gonna do is a little bit of the micro texturizing you don't do this in part lines, you stay away from the hairline and you try not to do it necessarily in a cowlick. Whenever we're doing texturizing to create lift, what's the rule of thumb of how far away from the base that you should start texturizing? Depending where the dent on is. The coarseness of the hair, okay. where it bends, right? Where it bends, okay. So I'm gonna lead you down the yellow brick road, right? <laughs> so do you mean where it bends here or, or, or do you mean where it bends here or do you mean where it bends here? From the base, yeah. Would everybody agree or you're not sure? Not sure. Not sure. Some are saying not sure, right? Okay, so physics tells me the closer I can be to the foundation or the base, the more support I have. Yeah. Problem is, is that everybody will say, well, if you get too close to here, what happens? Stand straight up. That only happens when you hold your shears the wrong way. Okay. So remember, vertical pitch, diagonal pitch, horizontal pitch. So I'm going to use vertical pitch and I'm literally gonna be almost at the base. Okay. 
But watch, I will stop texturizing where most start. So here's what I'm going to switch sides just so you can see it really good. So I'm going to come in vertical. And right now, I'm cutting it right now, but you can barely even see. Because right now, this is how much the shears open and close. So once. You're cutting towards the scalp. Towards the scalp. Because when you do this, it's so fine little pieces that if I actually catch a hair and I'm lifting up, if you have any sensitive scalp, it would actually elevate her out of the chair. Yeah. So So I'm actually done where most people start. That's it. Now watch how much comes out, but you'll be shocked. Oh, wow. But watch this. So, <laughs> a comb that isn't really made for backcombing, but watch this. Like, like you've got nothing but lift in here yeah. now. Oh, to the point where... <laughs> <laughs> it ain't coming out. It She's ain't like, there's no going back. <laughs> it ain't coming out. But the beauty of when you do it this way, it's like sitting. There, there is no, there is no pieces. That's crazy. But it gives you lift. I can guarantee you what people have done in the past is remember we talked about what what the the the, the chicken in the pot <laughs> is that guaranteed up to this point when you're doing texturizing your shears are this way. A hundred percent guaranteed. You've been doing it this way. Now look at how much hair I would cut if I was this way, mm-hmm. versus how much hair would I cut if I'm this way. Right. Big difference. So I'll come in again below this, and then, and you can almost see how the hair starts to almost back comb. That's so cool. Because you're opening and closing it, right? Oh, it is, but it's... Are you, like, whispering? Oh, it's beyond whispering. It's like stealth. It's there's a murderer in the house. It's like 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 this much. The sign language, (laughs) right? (laughs) It's like there's nothing. It's so fine, the amount, right? There we go. Okay. Yeah, so you can see that. Love those little foils, right? Like, wow. Yeah, wow. What? <laughs> and that's not backcombing it. That's doing nothing. That's crazy. Now, it's not going to make any sense to put any lower. No. It, it, no. it does. It's irrelevant information at that point. But I'm going <laughs> to do like, some sides. I don't know. Sides. I'm digging it. Yeah. Do some sides now. <laughs> She's like, yeah, volume. <laughs> that's what I mean. But when I, you can see how close we're actually getting in at the base mm-hmm. is that, again, I'm starting this where most people finish or I'm finishing where most people start. Wow, mommy. And you don't want to go near the hairline, you said, right? No. Right. Try not to. I, I, I wouldn't personally, right. but in this case, the money piece sort of helps me stop at that point. Now again, we're just dealing with natural hair, like it's not prepped or anything like that, but look at that volume that? that you're getting in this hair now. Yay. And because we have the <laughs> layers. <laughs> She's feeling herself. She's loving it. Good. You can take that out if it comes out. No, it's okay. I'm it just, just gonna, like I'm gonna not... use my finger to get through there because yes, it's sort of in the way a little bit, right? Yeah. And just a little bit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just for sure. And so for those who are watching, you always can come and check out some of these techniques at the salon, at the Hairstyle Inn in Saskatoon, either at the Lost Knights Mall or at the Centre Mall. Or if in, your Re- in Regina, <laughs> we've got some amazing students or future professionals who would love to do your hair here at the Style Academy. <laughs> so for those of you in Regina, now you can come out here and... Uh, this amazing crew would love to show you some of the new techniques we've been sharing today. So now get your hands in there, gorgeous, and see what that feels like. Oh my gosh. <laughs> wow, that feels like so light. 
Like I feel like when I curl, it'll actually hold up here because usually it falls just like straight and then like curls. Yeah, completely yeah. well. Oh, it's and nice. again, a different approach than you've completely had up to this point. Yeah. Yeah. Like completely different way of doing the hair, but it's the best way to do it. And it's sort of like, again, remember, there's like from going from, let's say, Regina to Saskatoon, how many different ways could you travel from Regina to Saskatoon? A thousand different ways. Mostly there's one way that makes sense. And the sort of same thing with this, with hair, we're using kind of the art form part, but then we're actually using physics and we're, we're sort of analyzing how do you create lift, how do you create volume. Certain angles gives better support points, others don't. So it's, it's the art, but it's also the science of it and how it actually will work. And it makes it amazing because it's predictable, it's consistent, and it, it actually shows every time you do it.